Hello guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Azure. In this video, we are going to discuss about connecting or integrating Azure DevOps with Microsoft InterID. That is nothing but Azure Active Directory. We connect Microsoft InterID with Azure DevOps so that we can even use whatever we users which we have created in our Azure Active Directory in the Azure DevOps so that you don't have to create users here if you integrate your inter id with azure devops you can directly your uh, use or you can directly provide access to the users which your organizations is having okay so here is the documentation if you can refer this as well if you want to connect your inter id Basically, we can connect inter ID at our organization level. So if you have your Azure DevOps and you have organization created, you can basically integrate one organization with your Microsoft inter ID. Okay, so all the users which are having in your Microsoft inter ID, you can assign permissions to them. Okay. So that they will be able to access your Azure DevOps. If you go in Azure DevOps portal here, this is my organization. I will open this organization and I will go to organization setting. If you go here, you get one option here, Microsoft Inter ID. So here is the option to create your organization that is nothing but this this is the organization name you can see this in browser as well to the microsoft inter id okay to do that you can click on connect directory and you will have to sign in with your azure account or microsoft intra account and select the microsoft intra okay so this is the active directory which i have I can show you this in my Azure portal. I have already signed in with my this account. This is my account. Okay. And from here, if you open the Microsoft Inter ID, you can see this is the Ramesh Gupta is the name of my Microsoft Inter ID. That's why I am getting it here because I have already logged in, in here, logged in here okay to connect microsoft inter id with azure devops you need organization level permission that is project collect collection administrator so you should be at least project collection administrator to add this to add your active directory inside the azure devops okay you don't if you don't have the permission you will not be able to add this okay let me click on connect again select the microsoft inter id so this is my microsoft inter id you can see the tenant id which is ending with 65d and if i go here this is my tenant id here is my here in my inter id ending with 65d now click on connect okay once you have clicked on connect it will add your inter id here inside azure devops you can sign this out and you can build it as well let me log in again this is now sign in let me log in again and try if i log in with my microsoft inter account so see here I have logged in with this account and here this is connected with two accounts one is Microsoft account and another one is with inter ID account so if I log in with inter ID account you can see I have permission of different projects like this project test learning ADO test test okay so this is where i have added the uh, uh, microsoft intra id if you go to microsoft intra again 
you can see this is this active directory as i added here and this is with this account i have already logged in with my active directory account okay so once this is connected you can log in with your active directory account and you can see uh, and uh, i mean the, your intra id is connected with your azure devops services okay if you notice initially i had another organization as well here in my azure devops but that is not visible now because my this account the new microsoft intra account does not have permission to access the new organization which uh, i had created it here okay if i select microsoft account here that organization will show here inside my permissions if you open it see dev.azure.com slash ramesh gupta so this was the organization uh, which uh, i had access with this account but with my entire account i have access to only this account okay once uh, your organization uh, or your entire is added inside your organization you can go to users and directly add the users which you have inside your uh, microsoft intra id directly inside the uh, here in the azure devops and you can assign the permissions from here so that they will be able to access your azure devops services or azure devops service okay so this is how we integrate or how we connect our a, a microsoft intra id with our azure devops and how we can assign the permissions for our active react users inside the azure devops okay that's it from this video if you have had me if you have any feedback or suggestions please let me know in the comments if you liked it please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching